there are people here who we see them every day who say, I've got diabetes up and down my family tree and I knew it was going to happen to me. And it's probably means I'll go blind someday or I'm going to lose a foot. Um, you know, th this is what they expect. And nobody ever <laughs> told them the real cause of it. So we explore that cause. And, and, and for your listeners, this is going to be a totally new thing when I say that type 2 diabetes comes from the buildup of fat particles in the muscle and liver cells. They've never heard that before. They thought that they got that from drinking soda. Um, and by the way, I'm not saying soda is health food. It's not. Even if it is Dr. Pepper, it's not health food. <laughs> but, uh, but, but it doesn't um, contribute to diabetes. Is that what you're saying? I am saying that the cause of type 2 diabetes is it's the buildup of fat particles inside the liver cells and muscle cells causes insulin resistance. So the insulin doesn't work anymore. And once that happens, if you have a soda or you have bread or anything, your blood sugar is always going to rise because, because it, the sugar can't get into the cells. But how the, does sugar it... was, the sugar wasn't the cause. It's a symptom of it. Got it. I want to understand oh. how it causes insulin resistance. Like, go deeper. Okay. So... Um, your cells. muscle cells work on glucose. Glucose is a good thing. Sugar is a good thing. Right, In the right. same way as your car, I know that runs as an on gas, your car runs on gasoline, your cells run on glucose. Mm -hmm. That's why, you know, before a race, what do people do? They want a lot of glycogen in their liver and in their muscle cells, so they're carbo-loading leading up to, to that race. Uh, that glucose is all good. The, the only problem in diabetes is the glucose isn't getting into the muscle cells. It's staying out in the bloodstream. Why can't it get into the muscle cells? Because the muscles are filled with fat. Um, these are, t and I don't mean to say that you've got a lot of belly fat or thigh fat or anything. It's, it's fat inside the muscle cells themselves and also in the liver cells. And if the fat builds up, it's like chewing gum in your front door lock. You just can't make your key work anymore. So if the, if the fat from um, cheese pizza or fried chicken or whatever, that fat gets into the cells, that stops insulin from being able to get the glucose inside. So a vegan diet has how much animal fat? Zero. And if I keep oils really low, the fat drains out of the cells. And once that happens, then the glucose can get out of the blood into the cell where it belongs. Your blood sugar goes down. Your doctor says, holy cow, this is amazing. Um, we need to back off on your insulin dose. And if all goes well, the, insulin, the diabetes improves or goes away. Mm -hmm. And the sooner a person starts this kind of diet, I mean, you're diagnosed with diabetes today and you start it today, you got a really good shot at getting rid of your diabetes altogether. Now, when you say fat, is there a difference between animal fat and plant-based fat? Like avocados ah, great, and great, great and question. Um, I think the worst actors are what we call saturated fat. Um, that's the fat that's, especially in, in cheese and other dairy products, that's the biggest source, uh, also in meat. But let me also say, it's, it's also in coconut, uh, coconut and palm oils very high in saturated fat too. Um, so the saturated fat is probably the worst actor, but, but if I have a person who's got type two diabetes, I'm gonna keep all oils to a minimum. Uh, we're gonna get rid of animal fats for sure, but I'm gonna keep vegetable oils pretty low as well because I wanna drain that fat out of their cells and I also wanna help them lose weight. And when, they get, when, they, when they're eating grains and vegetables and fruits and, and beans, the weight loss is a lot easier than if it's a guacamole fest every day. You know what I'm talking about. Hey right. folks, okay, back by very popular demand is our plant-powered plate fridge magnet, which you are going to receive for free if you leave us a rating and a review on whatever platform you're listening to this podcast on. So here are the details. Just write your quick review. Does not need to be long, does not need to be a whole story. Just be honest and speak from the heart. Then take a quick screenshot of the review you wrote and email it to us at podcast at switchforgood.org. That's podcast at switchforgood.org. And include your mailing address so we can send you a power plate. We are doing this because the more reviews we garner, the higher we go in search results, which means more folks will learn about our podcast. So the power is in your hands. Leave us a review and zoom, zoom, your power plate arrives at your doorstep. So thank you so much for tuning in today. If we helped you in any way, then click the subscribe button and let's keep hanging out together. We have so much more to share with you. And if you need more information on actually making the switch for good, please visit us at switchforgood.org for loads of info. And you can subscribe to our mailing list where you will receive all sorts of super cool gifts, discount codes to our very fave dairy-free products, 
and a lifetime of powerful health tips. So join us on the journey to switch for good. This is the future.